Hey there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will show you how to get blocks in AutoCAD. So uh, AutoCAD by default does actually have a little bit of libraries in its uh, samples files that you can use pretty much for your project and it has a lot of uh, cool blocks actually so what you need to do I, I already have here a simple drawing a simple layout of a house I forgot to put some doors and windows here but it's just something to to reference pretty much uh, so what you need to do is to go to the start ribbon on AutoCAD uh, by clicking here or if you can of course you can start the software and you can head there directly and here on the start uh, start ribbon or the start menu there is here something called explore sample drawings uh, this button right here so if you click on it it will open a window into your file explorer and it will go directly to a folder called sample and then here what you can do is go to English US and then go to design center and here is actually a really nice library of different uh, uh, different things for different industries that you can use in your projects uh, so for example for architects and interior designers uh, I would recommend using the home space planner that has uh, different blocks ready to use there's also house designer that has some plumbing fixtures and there's also a kitchen one as well that has different blocks for the kitchen uh, in different formats I will I'll show you each one of these I'll open them in a second and there's also landscaping which gives you uh, some trees there's a pool here already drawn uh, so let's look and there's obviously more feel free to to check the other libraries here or the other blocks that are inside these files uh, to see if there's anything you can use for your own project I'm gonna go ahead and open the home space planner and click open this warning will show up because I'm using a student version in here and basically you can just click open and you can go you can proceed to see the the library over here and this is already to scale if you downloaded AutoCAD uh, and you're using Imperial units or English measurements this should be to scale you shouldn't have any problems if any problems of course please leave me a comment in the video so let's see so how would we use this the easy way to do that for example if we want this sofa right here is by selecting it and then on your keyboard you want to click Control C and then you want to go back to your project and I'm gonna click here on my project and then you're gonna do control V and this will insert it inside uh, your project alright and I'm gonna put this for example here and then let's uh, get something else let's say a piano let's do control C and then here control V alright and now we have this in here uh, let's see what else um, of course feel free I think you get the idea gonna show you another one let's look at design center again and that was home space planner let's look at house designer and we're gonna click open again here in case you have the student version of AutoCAD uh, this this uh, this warning will often pop up if you're opening files that are not created in a student version all right uh, so here what we get we get few plumbing fixtures for example we get the toilet seat here I'm gonna select it and do control C and again come back to our project and do uh, control V for example I was imagining a bathroom here and this is a floor plan then come back here and if you want to copy multiple elements at the same time let's say uh, this sink and this faucet what you can do is select both of them so I just selected this one drew a window around this one and this one and then I'm gonna do control C or you can also right click and you can do copy select actually no this copy this copy will copy inside the drawing itself so control C will allow you to copy between two different AutoCAD drawing right so I'm gonna do here select both of them and then control C and then come back to the project and then I'm gonna do control V here and here we go and then of course I can move this I would move command and place it somewhere here um, or maybe even outside all right so this is regarding uh, this file and this file and I mentioned there's a third one uh, there's I think there's two more that I think are relevant for interior designers and architects 
let's look here at the kitchen and we click open and here you go you can also use them for there's some elements that have the different views of the element for example right here this casework or this base cabinet we're getting the side view we're getting the front view of it this is a dishwasher i guess um, this is a little nicer faucet or a kitchen a kitchen kitchen faucet obviously and yeah you can you can use this is the plan view of a range and this is a front view of it All right so that's regarding the the files that come inside AutoCAD which you can access from the start menu and explore sample drawings I want to show you one more location where you can get uh, blocks as well that are already inside AutoCAD that come with AutoCAD when you install it and they're basically under a menu called tool palettes and to access tool palettes you can go to the view ribbon over here I'm gonna click on view and then click on tool palettes and on my end it opened on another monitor I'll just slide it here into this one and here we go it opens uh, this menu right here and there's a few blocks that come inside it by default it should open to the annotation tab over here uh, but if you go to the architectural tab over here you will get a door block a window block uh, this is an, a window elevation here this is a light and this is a stud and of course toilet treats uh, trees and vehicles all right uh, and just to make using this uh, menu easier i recommend just clicking and holding with the mouse left button like this and then dragging it to to the left side or to the right side it's up to you and then i'm just going to expand it a little bit so i can see everything clearly and of course here you want to use imperial samples because this is metric so just make sure you're using the imperial samples if you are working in the u.s all right so what I want to show you, I want to show you this door block right here. This is one of the best door blocks in AutoCAD. And I'm going to just place it uh, somewhere here. I'm, I'm just going to place it outside because if I put it here, it will just rotate by default. This is how it behaves. So I'm just going to select it and then use the rotate command. Based on this point, rotate it uh, down to this point. All right so this door block specifically if you select it this is called a dynamic block so it has it has functions to it that allow it to behave differently so for example we have the flipping arrows here so if i click on this one it will flip the direction of the door uh, to inside and outside depending where depending on what you think is inside and outside of course here and this will flip the direction from right to left and this arrow right here will control the opening of the door and then let's actually flip this to the way i'm imagining it something like this and then one more control you have is this slider right here this arrow this will allow you to adjust the width of the door so i'm gonna slide here up to this point up to two feet or eight inches or 32 inches and here we go the door is sitting perfectly over here so i really highly recommend using this door block from the tool palettes and other than that let me show you for example the tree i did use it earlier in this plot plan i was showing uh, so i got this tree but let's place actually one more tree over here and then if you select this tree because it's a dynamic block as well you can click on this arrow here and you can get different options so for example this is a shrub you get this block and then if you change here to this one type one evergreen it's more symbolic tree actually and then this one evergreen and you get the idea all right and the same for the vehicles if i grab a vehicle block from here this is the side view of it you can click on the arrow and you can look at the top side of it i think that's what i have here and you can change it i think there's a there's a truck here trucked up not sure if this is how a truck looks like but you, you can use it feel free all right and that was it on where to get blocks inside AutoCAD. I'll show you in a later video how to insert blocks from other resources if you're downloading from the internet, for example. All right, that was it.